Hi, everybody. I had a discussion during the week about Jordan Peterson. Somebody asked me what I thought about him, and they also wanted to inquire about, in my view, is Jordan Peterson the big Christian voice that society needs? You know, clearly he's making a big impression on the world, and, uh, you know, good for him. And I'm, I think he's having a largely positive impact. In fact, almost entirely positive from what I can see. But as to whether he's a Christian, I'm not sure. And only God can say for for sure on that one. It's not my place to say. But the, having been asked about how sound his views on God are, I, I decided to watch a couple of videos of his, two, three actually, um, during the week. Because... It didn't seem obvious to me that he was speaking as a Christian would necessarily speak, or at least he didn't answer the 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 questions about God in the way that I would answer them, and I consider myself a, a Christian unequivocally. So I thought I would just explore a couple of things that he said, um, and, you know, Jordan Peterson, if ever he ends up watching a video of mine, you know, I'd be very happy to have him on the show if I become a bit more famous. I'd be very happy to, happy to have him on the show and to discuss this more deeply because I'd love to I'd love to get to the bottom of quite what he means. I, it seems a bit underdeveloped to, to me. Um and I don't think I misrepresented him. I, I've I've seen him say the same things on a number of occasions. Um so let me pull out a couple of and you can you can find this stuff you know on youtube um yourself and, and see what you make of it but i i think it needs a bit more thought and so for example um i've got a, a quote i captured here that i wrote down he in in a discussion with jonathan pagio i think that's how you pronounce it who i hadn't heard of before but i saw this discussion and, and he was asked what is god and Jordan Peterson says, and I quote, in a hierarchy of values, the highest place is the divine place. God is the highest place of our value system. And he then says, we characterize this through fiction. And God is the ultimate fictional character. Now, that's not how I would describe God and I have no idea why Jordan Pe uh, by, by Jordan Peterson answered it in that way. I mean, do, does he think God is the ultimate fictional character, as though he's only fictional? I, you know, a fictional creation like uh, Beowulf or Hamlet or Sherlock Holmes. If he thinks God is the highest fictional creation, doesn't that mean he believes the same thing that atheist believes? Um who also consider God to be a work of fiction or something that we've merely created in our minds. Um, and I don't mean that facetiously. I, I genuinely don't know what he means by that. Um, it's clear that fiction plays a huge role in showing us truths about God, um, about the human struggles, about how to gain wisdom and learn valuable lessons, of course. But the fiction and the stories, they're powerful because they act as signposts to God's truth and his glory, and also to other things in, in creation too, of course. You know, not the other way around. To me, saying God is the ultimate fictional character, it's a bit like thinking Shakespeare is only a character in one of his own plays. I don't I don't know what Jordan Peterson means. You know, he could have said God is the ultimate being uh, from whose truth and goodness and love all powerful fiction emanates. I mean, if he'd have said something like that, that would be a better way to state it, in my view. And uh, it would have been it would be a more truthful thing to believe. But to think that God is only the ultimate fictional character, it's it's to be guilty of. I think, imprecise use of language and and a rather underdeveloped line of inquiry. Um, and next, in a, in a in a Q and A with a 
another uh, panelist. I think I think his name was Matt um, Dillahunty. I think it's called. I I'd not heard of him either. But um, I wrote the the quote down here because Jordan Peterson was asked um, if all humanity was ceased to exist, would God exist? And Jordan Peterson responds in a very strange way. He says, I don't think I know how to answer that. He then says, it's too hypothetical. And he goes on to talk about um, self-consciousness in humans and in animals. And then he ends by saying he isn't sure to what extent being is dependent on consciousness. Now, I mean, all of those are valid um, topics of consideration in other contexts, but and they're relevant to the question of God too, because all of creation requires God's mind to exist in order for it to exist, to, for the creator things to exist. But But that's not the issue. The issue is, when asked, if all humanity were to cease to exist, would God still exist? The answer to that question, if you believe in God and you're a Christian, is a clear and unequivocal yes. God exists outside of creation. Everything that exists is created. You know, John's Gospel says, um, through, through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that has been made. You know, it's, it's unequivocal. You know, this, it means that humanity is created, and if all humanity is created and were, cease, were to, to cease to exist, then God, of course, would still exist. It's a fairly simple proposition, I think. Um, humans only exist because of God, but God doesn't only exist because of humans. So, again, I'm unclear why Jordan, Jordan Peterson doesn't know how to answer the question or why he thinks in his words it's too hypothetical i mean there are people who think that god only exists because of humans because we created them and again they're usually called atheists or possibly agnostics and i don't think jordan peterson thinks of himself as an atheist so i don't understand why he couldn't answer the question in the way that i have it's not difficult and it's not it's the only way that a Christian, I think, would answer that. Um, and then he's also asked, do you believe in God? He's been asked this several times, and I've seen him give similar answers. He says, I mean, this, in, in one of the, the, the quotes that's going around uh, virally on, on YouTube, he says something like, I think, he says, you know, do you believe in God? So he says, what do you mean by do? What do you mean by you? What do you mean by believe and what do you mean by God? Well, and then he concludes by saying, uh, I act as though God exists. Um, but I don't, again, I don't know why he thinks the question is so complex. <laughs> that he can only respond by breaking down each word and demanding a definition. You know, we... We all have commonality of language. And while it's essential to define our terms, of course, that's one of the key things in philosophy and, and in good discussion, define your terms and be precise <clears throat> in your language. The question, do you believe in God? Let's be honest, it's a perfectly clear question if we're talking about Christianity, which I think in Jordan Peterson's case, we are talking about Christianity. Do you believe in God? You know, do is the verb to perform or, you know, to, to take part in. You, obviously, meaning you, Jordan Peterson, as a person. Believe in, obviously, means, you know, um, you answer in the affirmative to the proposition of God's existence and you uh, you act in accordance with that belief. And God, meaning the the triune God we see in the Bible, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you believe in God? It's a question to which we should know how to formulate an answer. You know, we we see in Scripture what belief means. It means 
accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. I, you know, it means that he is our creator God who became a man on earth to die for our sins. Um, in Acts, it says, you know, be believe in the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. That's a clear um, commandment with a, an action and a consequence. John 3.16, the most famous verse in the New Testament probably, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Um, Hebrews, whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. You know, I know these matters are complex when we start to unpack them. And I know Jordan Peterson doesn't want to fall foul of oversimplicity, but I can't see why he tries to overcomplicate a question that isn't very complicated in terms of its linguistic proposition. So, you know, as I say, I, I respect the work that Jordan Peterson's doing. And from what I've seen of him in terms of his uh, socio-political commentary, I, I think we would largely agree. I think he's a force for good. And as I said, he'd be a really good guy to have on the show and have a, have a beer with um, in the future, maybe, if ever I'm well known enough to have such a man on the show. But but we're hopefully on that show. We would we talk about his conceptions of God because I don't think he's thought it through sufficiently, which is a strange thing to say because he seems to model his his whole persona on the fact that he really has thought these things through. Or, or maybe he's just come to the wrong conclusion. But his position seems muddled to me, and that may be because he's not a Christian. And when by, by not a Christian, I mean he hasn't got the Holy Spirit. So he's very interested in Christianity, and he's speaking lots about Christianity, and he's doing a good job in lots of places, as far as I can see. But it's possible that he doesn't have the Holy Spirit and doesn't know Jesus as Lord, in which case that might explain his the, the strange nature of his answers. At least it seems strange to me as a Christian. You know, he said that God is the ultimate fictional character, which suggests he thinks God doesn't exist in the way that Christians understand God to exist. And he, he can't seem to answer the question of whether he actually believes in God in terms of God's existence. The best he can say is that he acts as though God exists, which obviously Christians do as well. But at the same time, he doesn't seem to be able to answer the question of whether if all humanity were to cease to exist, then would God still exist? Well, you know, as I said, the questions, the questions are highly complex in terms of the expansive thoughts that emerge from them once we give them deep consideration, of course. No one's denying that, you know, but but for a Christian, which Peterson is saying in a sort of de facto sense that he acts like, the questions are easy to provide an answer to. If you're a Christian, someone says, what is God? You say, God is the creator of all things. He's he's triune in nature. You know, he's 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 three-part God. He's made himself known to us in the form of Jesus Christ, uh, the incarnation on earth, the Holy Spirit, which is given to us when we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. You know, what is God? It's not a complex question linguistically to be able to answer. Um, if all humanity uh, were to cease to exist, would God still exist? Yes, because God created all things, and God has a necessary existence, which means he can't not exist. Again, why? I don't know why Jordan Peterson can't just say that. Do you believe in God? Yes. Easy answer. I believe he exists. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and I think and I act on the basis of those beliefs and through my relationship with him. So, um, yeah, I I would love to talk to Jordan Peterson more because his his answers to me suggest someone who's muddled in his thinking if he was answering like a Christian would answer. So, um, yeah, that's that's my um, brief thoughts on Jordan Peterson and God. So, yeah, I'd, as I said, I'd love to talk to him more and uh, find out where, to me, the confusion 
or the incomplete thinking lies because that's how I perceive it. Thank you for listening. <laughs>